Ron here. Welcome once again to the Pool Student Channel and thank you very much for watching everyone. Super excited today. Can't wait to talk to you about this exercise. What you see here, what looks like the Nick Varner nine ball drill, it's not. I've got the balls completely rearranged to suit my situation, to suit my problem areas. So I want to set this up before I show you me shooting this pattern. And by the way, I've shot this all day today for about six hours. I've got 20 runouts out of about 40, 45 uh, attempts. That's not bad for me. Uh, and, and initially I started out very slow, but once I started to you know, get through it and made that first run out, all of a sudden it started to click for me. And I wanted to show this to you because I, I tell you what, there's some things within this pattern that are gonna really help you in your game. For me, if you've been following my situation, I have done a drastic change in my pull stroke. I used to be a jab stroker, a poke stroker, and now I'm trying to get a smoother transition, more pause. And one of the things that I've struggled a little bit with is when I would shoot at just a typical nine ball pattern where I just throw nine balls on the table and start running them out. I would run out once in a while, but it was very inconsistent. I was missing simple shots. Not so much missing the shot as I was missing the position. And that's because my transition was new to me. Okay, I'm used to a quicker transition. I need to change that to take my game to another level to have more consistency. But I, I'm uh, faltering just a little bit. And I thought, you know what? I've got to do something different. I can't keep shooting these nine ball patterns and have the same result. So I decided to go back a little bit and look at some of the things that I've done in the past. I love drills. I'm a drill type person. This is not a drill. It's more of a challenge but it's similar to a drill in that the balls are going to be in the same place and you're going to start from square one in this case with the cue ball right here we're going to shoot the one up there in the corner get position on the two so on and so on and so on because the five ball and i put the five ball in the center of the table that ball right there makes this drill difficult you got to work around that to get through the rack and i wanted to share this with you you're going to see it right now so without further ado, let's take a look. Okay, here we go, you guys. Remember, I'm trying to really work on my paws here. Don't wanna be straight in. That's okay. I came over too far, I wanna be right here. So working on this pause does create a little issue for me. Need that angle, I'm at three. <clears throat> this one I'd like to be almost straight in on the four. A little bit short. It's okay though, I can still get away with it. I'll just slow roll this. A little bit of spin. Pocket speed made that one go. Doing this pause throws me off a little bit, but if I keep doing this, I'll be okay. That was a good shot. I'm debating if I wanna go boom, boom, boom that way or that way and down here. I'm going to go ahead and draw it. Kind of a stun draw. Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty 
pretty good, pretty good. Whew, so hard to, to get that transition net and hold and shoot through. But by performing this exercise over and over and over and really thinking about holding and then going through, that will ingrain our muscle memory. Thanks for watching. Leave some comments. Let me know if it helps you guys as well. Fire it up, you guys. Stumbled onto this one, that five ball in the middle. Man, that, that's, that's the whole key right there. It makes this initial part of this exercise tough, but then the last part of the exercise, you have to be a shot maker and play great position. Like I say, thanks for watching. Till next time, keep on practicing.